Hi yo folks, this is Max from ZeroMax.com and NexusSHacks.com uh, We're going to root our phone today So first thing you're going to do is put your phone in fast boot mode So how you do that is power it off Alright, hold the power key And then power off And once it's powered off What you're going to do is hit the volume up button right here Right? Press that Press that, and while holding that, oh sorry, hit the power button, right? And we're going into the bootloader mode, all right? And what we're going to do next is we're going to hit connect the USB cable to our computer. In this case, we're using Windows, and that's it. That's all we're going to do for now, and we're going to go to our computer now, okay? Leave that aside. Next, what you're going to do is uh, go download this uh, Nexus S root.zip and then you're going to unzip it. And inside, you should find these five files. That's all you need. And uh, copy this. Oops. Right click copy. And go to the root folder of your hard disk, such as C drive, and paste. And that way, it's easy to access. And we're going to go to start search programs and files, CMD, right? And let's zoom in to that real quick so you can see better. And we're going to go to cd slash nexus s root where we copied our files over. We do dir and show those files. Now we're going to root the phone. Uh, we're just going to do fast boot OEM unlock. That's all we got to do, right? And if you go back to your phone, now you you'll get the screen. Um, Unlock bootloader, say yes by using the volume button, up, and then hit the power button. There we go. Oops. Now it's unlocked. And uh, let me zoom in re here real quick, show you what it looks like. So it says it's unlocked now. Before it said it wasn't unlocked. So what we're going to do here is now we're going to go... Uh, Go back to the command prompt, all right? And then we're going to type fastboot flash recovery recovery clockwork from clockwork you can just press tab and type that and press enter. And it's going to flash the recovery. And we're going to do fastboot flash boot rootboot.img alright and that's all done now we're gonna go back to our phone and uh, use the volume button go down to uh, recovery and press the power key power button and it should boot us see, see the unlocked thing mm -hmm. that means it's been rooted should get into us into the clockwork recovery mod. So once that's done, reboot your phone and it should reset into something, but uh, connect it as a USB storage device. And then go to your, uh, go to, this is the SDK direct, SD, this is the SD card of the Nexus S. And copy over this last file, the SU, into this file. So I already did it. Okay, so copy that over, and now we're going to put it back into the bootloader mode to install the SU file. So let's turn it off. Power off. Alright, click OK. And then let's go back into the bootloader mode. It's volume up and power button. Oh, it's getting there. Come on. There we go. Hit the volume up and the power button. We're in the bootloader mode, right? Now we're going to go down to recovery, hit the power button, and that'll get us into the clockwork mod recovery. Go to apply update 
no, sorry. Install zip from SD card. You see that? There we go. And hit power button. Choose zip from SD card. Choose the SU uh, dash two dot three dot six dot one. This one and hit the power button. Go to yes. Hit the power button. And we just installed the super user app, which we need to actually um, use it under the system. Although we have s uh, super user under shell. Now reboot your system now, and then after it's rebooted, we're gonna go um, download some rooted apps, actually like Wi-Fi Tether or something, and see if it's uh, it'll pop up. So to prove that it's been rooted. So our phone's been rooted. We've got Clockwork Mod Recovery. Clockwork Mod Recovery. For those of you who don't know, you can install new ROMs. So we're gonna go download Android Wi-Fi Tether. Although this phone already comes with Wi-Fi Tether, but that's a good app to test out if uh, um, your you know super user app's working. You can go down. See so you got the super user app. See if it's working. So it's working fine. And uh, let's go download. Go to Google and type Android Wi-Fi Tether. Android, nah. Wi-Fi, wi -Fi. There we go. Type that. All right, and then we're gonna click on it. This is this is a rooted app. Um, let's just go download and install it. it. Doesn't matter. Just hit the latest APK. And hit the APK again. And uh, it's gonna download, and we should see it right there. Open it up. Uh, it's gonna ask you for settings. Unknown sources. Yes. Okay. Hit the back button. Oops, where did our downloads go? You can go back to more downloads. Go hit it again. Install. And once it's installed, open it. And uh, if you want to donate, donate. I'm going to close. And then if you start, see how the super user pops up and you can say allow. So now it's working. So we just tested it. So now your phone's been rooted. Uh, when you root it, it seems like it res resets everything, so just be aware. Uh, when you sign up for Google Gmail, you can actually back up all your apps, most of your apps. Anyway, that's how you root it. Let me show you that screen again, just for, yeah, look at that. You got super user, working fine. So that's how you root the Nexus S. We'll have more hacks. Um, next, I'm going to go maybe install Ubuntu subscribe to our channel youtube channel and also subscribe to my email list at nexusshacks.com so see y'all later